intercambiabile. Velame possono essere di diversa dimensione e misura, di diverso tipo, cioè anche di forma. Poi forbici, che possono essere rette. In remote areas, the health professional has not got a staffed operating room available. Thus, elective minor surgery is carried out in a clean and properly arranged consultation room. Minor surgery turns out to be safe and feasible by implementing the basic rules of asepsis. Let's focus on the excision of sebaceous cysts and the subcutaneous lipoma. A sebaceous cyst is a slightly reddish closed sac that can be found under the skin of the entire body, except the palms of hands and the soles of feet, filled with cheese-like matter. It is delimited in its border sliding, usually not very painful. The subcutaneous lipoma is made of fat tissue. It is painless, mostly located just below the epidermis of the trunk, arms and thighs. It is tender to the touch, sliding over deep planes. Malignant transformation is very rare, and it is associated with rapid growth, calcification and invasion into nearby structures. In either nodules, the ultrasound scan by a probe of 7.5 MHz or above is a semiotic support to confirm the benign pattern made up of clear boundaries and a cleavage plane from the neighboring tissues. Whenever the excision of both lipoma and the sebaceous cyst is not radical, either of them may recur. The health professional arranges a sterile field beside the patient on a table. Minor surgery kit includes the following sterile tools. A for cutting, number one scalp and handle, number one scalpel and number one kind of scissors, B for handling tissues, number one forceps, C for suturing, number one needle holder. Regarding stitches, the surgeon can make use of packages of absorbable thread, monocryl, or not absorbable suture nylon. High microbial product, chlorexidine or povidon iodine, sterile doses, bandages, plasters, and disposable surgical gloves are needed. In this case, first the previous surgical scar is to be removed. Mark up the lesion with a diamond shaped mark. Clean the skin upon the lesion. By means of an insulin syringe with a 23 25 gauge needle, inject lidocaine or mepivacaine at 2% into the subcutaneous tissue all around the mark in order to numb the area. The surgeon should gently scrub the skin in a circular motion, beginning in the center of the site and moving outwards by using a sterile sponge with disinfectant. After a few minutes, cut and dry the blood with gauze. Remove the scar from the base. Astic gently lesion with the finger or the top of the forceps or cutting with scissors slowly. After the complete detachment of the lesion, cut the base. Completely remove the sac and its content with the cyst wall intact. Dry the blood in the wound. Suture the skin wound according to the natty stitches. Wrap with gauzes and plasters, disinfection and dressing, 
are changed as often as two days until the eighth day when, if non-absorbable suture was used, stitches are removed. Mark the cutting line. Disinfection and local anesthesia are given as already shown. After a few minutes, cut and dry the blood with gauze. Unstick the lesion with finger or the top of the forceps. In the meantime, keep on drying blood with gauze. If the patient complains of some pain, inject an anesthetic booster. Cut the base of the lesion while being sure that the capsule is entirely included in the excised fragment. Suture the skin wound according to Donati's teachers. Wrap with gauzes and plasters. Disinfection and dressing are changed as often as two days up to the eighth day when, if non-absorbable suture was used, Stitches are removed.